Okay, the question that I always seem to get, you know, um, you know, I seem to get about why I don't get closer to these Sasquatch and stuff. <clears throat> and the way I want to explain this is you learned a long time ago, at least I did, um, about the rules and the respect. See, I go out there one day and I'm frustrated because I can't get none of them on video. So I know where they're at. So I go across the road. I go across the road and and um, I go right where they were within eight feet of them. And I'm getting some of the most incredible looking footage you've ever seen. And I'm so excited when I get home because I'm thinking to myself, I've got the... I've got some of the best footage that's ever been shot of them. It's right here on my camera. But when I get home and look at the footage, there's nothing there. It's almost as if the camera didn't record them or whatever they did to do it to keep it from recording. So about 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm asleep. And all of a sudden, something wakes me up. It's shaking the house. And I look out my window. There's a 15-foot giant standing at my window roaring at me. I mean, with the loudest roar. Now, what he wanted, what he wanted to do was tell me, hey, you got too close. Don't do it again. And when something like that does that to you, then you start learning. And you start, uh, you know, start respecting that. And you don't do it no more. Because next time he may rip the side of your house off.